Land was obviously Disney related, right? Yeah. One thing that's also on the on Disney Plus it was recently a lot of us probably watched. I know I watched the first one. I didn't get to catch to watch the second one, which the second one is the topic of right now, which is Home Alone Two. So Home Alone Two obviously has a very brief cameo. A lot of people know of Donald Trump, and then Donald Trump is getting a lot of fallout. Probably the most fallout I think of any president in our definitely in our modern history of a person who. It's funny, he went, he went in unpopular and he's going out even more unpopular. But um, so someone mentioned that they should cut out the Donald Trump clip, which actually in Canada, they had already cut it out. But they said that they had cut it out like two years into his presidency for time constraints. Like they, clap, they, time, they, they, they were like, because it's not like it's not a significant scene. Um, which is funny because the director said it was like, well, Chris Columbus, I think his name is. Um, he also directed the Harry Potter movie, the first two Harry Potters. He directed Home Alone 1 and Home Alone 2. He just said, yeah, it was funny because um, I forget the hotel that they were in. Um, Hilt, not the Hilton. Something Plaza. Anyway. Um, they were like, yeah, we were going to, at that time, Trump owned those hotels. Mm. And he said, yeah, y'all can record in my hotel, but the only way that y'all can record in my hotel is if y'all let me do a brief cameo. And then he was like, he was like, no, nah, it wasn't like, you know, he was like, we had no issue with him. We really, we liked him because at that time he was likable for a lot of people. Um, and then, you know, they were like, now nah, we had no issues, but technically speaking, he bullied his way into the actual scene. But um, they actually said that somebody on Twitter was like, we should put an the older version of Macaulay Culkin in that scene with the young version of Macaulay Culkin. In place of Trump. So in like place dig of Trump. digitally replace Trump. Uh, I guess the, the scene in question is where, um, you know, Kevin, is that his name? Um, Kevin? Yeah, yeah he's so going when, in, he's like, hey, where's the lobby? And then you know, Trump does a quick cameo. Yeah, thing. like he points over there. Yeah, okay. Um, so they replaced it because, with you older. Know what? Chris Columbus yeah. said that when they screened it, people cheered when they saw Donald Trump back in 19 whatever. I mean, uh, honestly, he, he was a pretty popular guy, even... I thought he was funny as hell. As recently as 2013, you know, with The Apprentice and stuff. Um, sure, he would tweet some really racist stuff about our president, saying that he was born in Kenya, but... Actually, yeah, I think that's when a lot of people started souring on him. Yeah, people a lot liked him. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... No, I'm, a lot of people still like them, but... A, Look, you know I'm not a uh, you know from our conversations I'm not um, in retrospect I'm not a huge Obama fan right but mm. even if, even when he was souring on me and souring on, souring with me based on policy not based on who he is definitely not based on his race because that's just stupid um, you know um, I'm definitely not hating on him because he's a he's a what, what is he he's a Muslim you know people give these bile idea uh, things of you know he's married to uh, you know Michelle is really a man. You know, all these bullshit that people just create. That's not the reason I hated him, or I don't hate him, but the reason I disliked him, mm. or it was his policy, right? But even when I'm disliking his policy, the shit that Donald Trump was saying, I'm just like, yo, you're just saying vile shit to say vile shit. Mm. You know what I mean? Because you're a vile human. Now, I don't know, was he always a vile human? Um, history would probably say he was you know well yeah i mean those the stuff about the central park five where he was talking about they should be executed or and, shot again. yeah and it, it, like look without any due process and stuff like that um and then he's he said stuff that could be you know, considered racist about you know black people and like housing and all that stuff so yeah he had those moments but i think the stuff about Obama was like his first megaphone racist yeah. you know, moment. And he just kept going with it. And then honestly, like I said, because uh, in 2012, I still voted for Obama. Um, so I still liked him then. But then it's just like, you're still getting, you're getting to this point where like, I'm like, now it's just you're attacking him on his, him personally, right? Mm. Which, by the way, put the mirror on yourself, man. Um, personally, there's a lot of crap that we could talk about you, you know? Um, Especially now, you know, uh, what did somebody say? Oh, it was horrible. Oh, uh, so somebody on Facebook, when they were talking about this, getting him out of the movie, somebody, some lady on Facebook said, 
they're trying to get God out of the out of out of America and is Trump bad? Like, and I'm like, did you just low key or like not even low key? Did you just compare God to Trump? And then right. somebody commented be on surprised. Well, somebody actually put it, somebody else commented and I was like, oh shit. Uh, Donald Trump has been in Stormy Daniels more than he's been in a church. Mm. So dang. <laughs> dang. I was like, that's just I, I mean, like, even when dang. even when outside the church and um held the bible upside down that's like that's you know people who believe in that's like satanic stuff they'd be like dude that's and gas, like satanism and remember tear gas black life matters people to uh, to do that to get there yeah yeah so um that's funny so i has macaulay culkin spoken up about wanting to do it he said i'm down for it oh see <laughs> that's where that's where the that's where the article came up with is because macaulay culkin's like i'm down so, like, would he just re, uh, record those lines and then find yeah, out? Macaul- That'd be fun. First of all, I want to know, what's the Macaulay Culkin? Like, did he make that much money that he... Because he doesn't do anything. What does he do? No, he, he had some, you know, he had a few acting roles after that. Nothing as big as Home Alone, of No, I'm saying, but, like, um, him after being a child actor, did he even just make... The, I think he probably... He probably had... Unlike, he had the opposite of Gary Coleman's um, parents, I think. Because I, I think he's, like... He doesn't act, and I don't know what else he does. So I think he's. I'm, I'm like, sure. man, he's, yeah. Martin he's, he's, when he he's was a like regular a human. South. He's a regular human like the rest of us. His brother is still acting. His brother actually was nominated for nominated for an Emmy uh, for Succession. Um, so I mean, there's there's still acting in the family going on there. Yeah, but I um, I'm sure his brother's not giving him money. Maybe uh, but, like the producer. <laughs> but or I don't think now. Macaulay Culkin needs money. He's probably secretly like a billionaire just from probably <laughs> his parents just invested the hell out of his money. Merching, um, but, merching home alone. 